Yeah. yeah. So maybe the age has changed. I mean, obviously it's changed, right? Like a woman 100%. is 13 and like uh, ancient. Uh, but that's because people didn't fucking survive. You know, it was hard to survive back then. Right. When someone got to breeding age, you bred with them as quickly as you could because they probably weren't going to make it to be 20. I mean, that's a wild... That's a wild, like, debate that's happening a bunch of few guys, like, thousands of years ago. Like, I don't want to bang these young girls, but no one's living. <laughs> They're all dying. Well, I don't think they thought 15 was old back then mm. or young back then. Because I think, you know, with the average age of death, well, the average age of death, is it's complicated, right? Because when they calculate the average life expectancy of people that lived a long time ago, yeah. really you have to factor in infant mortality, which screws everything up. And just so many children and babies died young. That and like, more, too. Right, like, but they, so they make the age like, oh, the average person lived to be 30. Well, that fucks it up because a lot of them died at one. Yes. Like a shit ton of them. And died there are people who lived a long time. I think Michelangelo lived till how long? I don't know. I don't know. He's probably pretty old. But like there are people who lived long. There are yeah. people who lived into their 80s back yeah. in the day. Yeah, they so did. Yeah. It was possible. But the, again. The actual life expectancy, like what a person could actually live to, yeah. was probably the same. Yeah. For most people. For the most part. Also, wild to have a kid as a woman, like that primal urge back in the day, knowing that there was like a 25% chance it either killed you or the baby. Ugh. I don't right. know what those percentages are, but knowing every time you're going into this, that you want to talk about like your, that's why, <clears> I don't know, like when I hear a lot of like um, people like our age or whatever like that, like there's a lot of women, like, I just don't want kids. And it's like, I understand intellectually why you might not. But there has to be a biological impulse inside of you yearning to do that. I don't think it's for everybody. <clears throat> I, I really don't think it's so. It's not for everybody. But I, I don't think that the urge is for everybody. You think there are human beings yeah. whose one purpose on this earth is to procreate, who just do not have that in them. I don't think that's the one purpose on the earth anymore. I think at one point in time when there was uh, less people, I think the urge and the imperative to breed was much more strong. It was much stronger, and it was it was much more of a focus. I don't think that. I think the way nature works, and this is me just completely guessing, mm. when there's an abundance of people, like in in urban situations, people are much less likely to have children. Mm. Do you know that that's the the argument for underpopulation, right? A population collapse. This is why Elon keeps having kids. Like the population <laughs> no, collapse not. is It's not single-handedly trying to like bring the population back. But he literally is. Like he's Joe. having a bunch of kids. He's with having 10 with, kids. But he's having them it's in sur he's doing it with surrogates. It's not like he's just shooting loads into people. Like he's making embryos and in vitro fertilization. It's like he's doing wild shit. That is the make, dorkiest way to, to have make kids. people. But he's trying to do that. Yeah, he's but trying leave to make a, a lot load of people. In, dude. Like if you're gonna do the act, if you're gonna be with the person, you might as well enjoy it. But I think genuinely he wants to make as many people as he can. Genuinely. Uh -huh. That's why he's like saving embryos and doing in vitro fertilization. Like he's genuinely trying to contribute to the population. He thinks that population collapse is a, is a real issue. If you talk to him about it, he has a compelling argument about it. I and like there to is hear a, it. There's a compelling argument that relates to- I think it's to a primal breeding fetish. I'll be honest with you. I think that's what Nick Cannon has. And I think what happens is you just start to get addicted to this feeling of bringing life into it because there's this, this old impulses baked into our DNA that this is what we're supposed to do. And he's in a financial situation where they both are, where they can do that, and there's not many restrictions put on them. But to like over intellectualize it, like I'm trying to bring back the population. It's like no, you get a kick out of it. It's fun. The, you can afford it. If you talk to him, I think you'd have a different opinion. Okay. He he genuinely thinks that it's important for people to have as many children as possible. Mm. And he's basing this is what I was getting to. There's studies where they talk about um, urban environments and highly educated people are having less and less children. Yeah. Because the woman has career, uh, the woman has a career, the man has a career, yep. they put it off. Did you ever see um, uh, Idiocracy? <laughs> no, but... Uh, Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, still holds I, just saw I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I gotta, I gotta watch. But that's in Idiocracy. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple in Idiocracy that's like really highly You had educated. him on, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike yeah Judge. He's, he's brilliant, Judge. He's the shit. I love yeah. him. Great guy. He lives here. Um, and w in that film, like there's this one guy who lives in a trailer and he's got like 50 kids, keeps fucking all these women, he's fucking the neighbor, he's having kids with everybody. And then there's this super educated couple that's holding it off and putting it off until they're like in their forties yeah. and then they can't have kids and the yeah. guy doesn't have any sperm left and the girl's eggs are bad. Yeah. That's the reality of yeah. intelligent, educated people with careers yeah. is yeah. that they have less children. And so there's other that's the yeah. fear of population collapse in large urban environments. 
when when people move up in in uh, economic status and they move up in terms of their career, that takes precedent over having.